Welcome back. Chef Giuliano Hazan is an award-winning author of best-selling cookbooks, including Every Night Italian and Hazan Family Favorites. His passion for food runs in the family, especially since his late mother, Marcella, is considered to be the godmother of Italian cooking. Forbes just included Giuliano's cooking program as one of their top five cooking and foodie vacations in Italy for 2019. And we're delighted to get a master class from him right here on New Day. How are you? I'm fine. Thank it's you so much for having me. good to meet you. Everything's so beautiful. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Uh, what are we making today? We're making uh, a marinated fish. It, it's kind of like ceviche Italian style. I love that. So idea. in Italy, I do it with branzino, and this is with rockfish. Very good. How do we get started? This is one okay, of your so in, in, classes included this, this recipe. This is something that I teach in Italy. Perfect. And uh, so one of the things that I teach is a little onion trick. Okay. okay. Oh, I love it's, an onion trick. <laughs> all right. Let's do it's it. how to very finely <laughs> dice an onion with a minimal amount of pain I and suffering. I watched you do it, and you were remarkably uh, productive well, with the onion. You. Yeah. So first thing, I'm going to cut off the top of the onion. Okay. Okay, but I'm going to leave the root attached. Then cut the onion in half. Well, I clearly like I'm doing this all wrong. Already? <laughs> At home, yeah. Okay. Well, I end up trying, I spend a lot of time trying to get the skin off. Oh, good. You just peel one layer yeah, off. It, once you cut off one side, the skin comes off easily. It's actually easier to take more layers off than try to save some. And then you put it with a flat side down. Uh -oh. And with the tip of your knife, mm -hmm. you're making some lengthwise cuts. Now, the important part here is that I'm not going straight down and across. I'm actually following the shape of the onion like this. So my knife oh. is angling around. And about a third and of then, the way through the onion. Well, that's why I left the root attached, so that the root holds the onion together. It doesn't all fall apart. I have to make sure that I go through the onion, mm -hmm. go all the way around, angle the knife in the other way like this. And then once I'm all the way around, all I have to do is cut crosswise. You know, what makes you cry is the fumes that come out. Yes. The more cuts you make, the more fumes come out. So this way we're just doing two cuts. Look at you. And look at that. And you're Diced this onion. Yes, that's amazing. You you're see? better than the machine. That's really oh, good. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay, so our onion is done. So you see this is very thinly sliced mm -hmm. fish. Like, and like, I'll show you how yeah. I did that. Here's a fillet of the rockfish. And what we want to do is just cut on a bias like this in nice thin slices. Do we need a really sharp knife? We do. Okay. Actually, I brought even a better knife for this. If go. you use a thin knife like this, it makes it, look at that, how wow. easily it comes out. We want to place it on the plate so that it, it uh, is overlapping, but just slightly. That's like beautiful. This. Then we're going to season with a little bit of salt. Okay. Okay, a little bit of pepper. This lovely pepper grinder here. Okay. Um, you can sprinkle some onions on top. Do you want the whole thing? Or just sprinkled. You you know what to do. Okay. Right? <laughs> let's, let's see if I do. Okay. There's no telling. That, there's there. my version. You see, it's perfect. Okay. Okay. Some uh, fresh marjoram. You know my recipes do have measurements, but I actually never measure when I cook. And then some uh, parsley, finely chopped flat leaf parsley. That is amazingly finely chopped. How did you do that? Well, just as my mother used to say, the trick is to just keep on chopping. Keep going. Okay. okay. Yes. I think my patience level is not as high as it should be with that. This is some extra virgin olive oil. This is actually uh, made in one of the places that we take our students to in our cooking school in Italy cool. that you were mentioning before. And so they get to see what extra virgin olive oil is all about and oh, why, that's beautiful. why you should use it. There we go. And the last thing, which is the most important thing, is lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice is actually going to cook the fish. So we're quite generous with the lemon juice. How is that and possible? I know this is how the ceviche acidity. is made. The acidity. It's the acidity, yes. And then I just swish it around. That looks so beautiful. And then how and then long do you let it wait? Four, four hours, more or less, mm -hmm. out at room temperature. Or if you want to, you can do it the day before, put it in the refrigerator. Brilliant. And then afterwards, you see this is kind of translucent, but afterwards when it's done, this. it's like this, it's white, and it's, it's not really, it's not cooked, but partially it's cooked. It is gorgeous. It is and gorgeous. And then there's some here. If, if uh, you, yes, I noticed hungry, there was I with, <laughs> with, with some beautiful bruschetta. So tell me a little bit about the cooking school and the, and the second location as well. Well, this year, we've been doing the school in, outside of Verona for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And this year, we're going to start a new location in Tuscany. 
on the Tuscan coast, oh my goodness. south of Pisa. An this area is the original called, one, uh, right? Bulgari. This is yeah. uh, this is Villa della Torre. That's in the Veneto. That's well, that the looks courtyard. Awful. That looks so unpleasant. <laughs> this oh my is gosh, that's the beautiful. rooms that people get to stay in during the week. They come for six nights. Wow. And during the day, we go and take field trips to visit, you know, the olive oil producer or rice producer, go to the market. And then at night, we have cooking classes, and uh, everybody gets to make their homemade oh, look pasta. At that. that actually looks Then we looks sit down like at heaven. the table, and we drink lots of wine and eat what we prepared. And I think we have pictures of the, the new location as well. Where is this, uh, the program in Tuscany going to be? It's uh, near a town called Bulgari. It's mm -hmm. actually the heart of Super Tuscans. That's where it's super Tuscan. There it is. There That's it Bulgari. Is. That's the little medieval village of Bulgari. And just, yeah. I went to Tuscany a few months ago. It was my first time to go there. I'd been to Italy before. And it's like it's not real. It's just beautiful <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. You know, it's, everywhere. So what a perfect spot. Tell me yeah. about your mom and also her, she has a recipe that is, I think, the most requested on the New York Times <laughs> <Something> cooking <like that. laughs> uh, site. What, what is the recipe? And then tell me a bit about learning cooking from her. Well, the recipe is very simple. It's a tomato sauce that's made with just four ingredients. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, sweet onions, butter, and salt. And that's and it. It turns out to be so popular. You don't so even popular. have to chop Everybody's the onions for that, actually. Really? That's right. You just wow. peel them and cut them into chunks. They stew in the tomatoes. And then you cook for about 45 minutes or an hour. And at the end, the sauce is absolutely delicious. The oh. onions are sweet and tender. You know, my mother actually says to pull them out and throw them away, but they're, I always used to eat them. The yeah. best part. <laughs> I think my stomach just growled. She must have been amazing to learn from. Yeah. I used to like to sit in the kitchen. I had a stool. I sat in the kitchen and watched her cook and just kind of absorbed everything. And that was osmosis. cooking school for you. Yes. She's known as the godmother of Italian cooking in this country. Sh tell me a little bit about this dessert, because so I've been eyeballing fish, this for quite a while. After fish, I thought that an orange tart would be good, because oh. it's nice and fresh and fragrant. This is a Sicilian orange tart. Uh, I have to say that I don't like to bake. I'm a reluctant baker. Uh, That's okay. So the desserts I that I make are really you. simple yeah. and straightforward. <laughs> The crust is made with the orange zest, so even the crust tastes of the orange. And then the filling is just uh, sugar, uh, eggs, and the orange juice. And uh, that's I love it. it. This isn't scary cooking. This is exactly. easy no, to cooking do. Exactly. Cooking doesn't need to be scary. That's a good thing. Do you have a favorite? Do I have a the favorite? Meal, the meal that just stands out for you? I, it's hard to choose a favorite, but if I had to choose it, it's actually something we do during the course. It's filled pasta, tortelloni, mm -hmm. or ravioli, you could call them, uh, filled with Swiss chard and made with that tomato sauce that my mother uh, oh my gosh. makes. I gotta go. <laughs> I am so hungry. <laughs> yeah, <I'm staying. laughs> when I was little, I was staying at my grandmother's in Italy. And I ate an adult-sized portion of it and then collapsed on the table. And my grandmother was terrified. She called the doctor, and he came, and she said, oh, he's happy. He's, he's sleeping. He's happy. He was not felled by tomato sauce. He's That's just right. really happy and full. Thank you so much oh, for coming you. in and visiting with us. We will share Giuliano's recipe on New Day's homepage. And you'll also find a link to sign up for one of his fabulous cooking classes. Um, I hope we all see each other in Italy. Bon appetit. Thank you bon very appetito. much.